Hi, welcome to uh, another video on my channel. So, I actually want to revisit a, a very old video um, from my channel, which is this video. This ZBrush Merge multiple sub tools that I shot 10 years ago in version 3.1. It's forever ago. So, people are still watching this video and getting information from it, which is fantastic. But I kind of want to update it because ZBrush obviously has changed a lot in 10 years. So I want to now look at merging subtools in, right now I'm in version ZBrush 2019. So I want to show not only how we can merge multiple subtools and have all the points weld, I also want to show how I can merge, weld the points, and maintain our UVs. So in this video we're going to walk through that and I'm also going to cover something that's important when you're merging with multiple subdivisions. Okay, so right now I have the demo soldier and I've split his body into two separate subtools. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to copy this tool and then I'm going to paste it two more times because there's two other things that I want to show here. All right, and what I want to do now is merge the top with the bottom. Okay, in the original video, I discussed using this import options with the merge and having your weld capability. Well, we don't need that anymore because in the subtool palette, there's actually right below the split here, there's a merge. Okay, and then there's a weld option. So all I'm going to do is tell ZBrush weld the top with the bottom. Now, the other thing to understand here is this top has top half has five subdivision levels. If I use the down arrow key, that'll select the subtool below what I have selected, which is now you can see the legs are selected, and that also has five subdivision levels. So this is going to be become an important thing here in the video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now just click the merge down. I'm going to say OK. ZBrush is now taking the body, the top half, and merging with the bottom half. And let's take a look. We turn ourselves into solo mode here. Turn on polyframe. You can see that everything is merged. Okay, I can sculpt across. And I'm good to go. The problem we have here is this mesh originally had some UVs on it. And now I don't have any UVs at all. So as an example, let's go to one of my copies of the original one here. And you can see this has UVs. So here's the top of the body's UVs. Now they're not amazing or anything, but it has UVs for the purpose of this video. And then I'm going to down arrow key, walk to the lowest subdivision level, just so you can see the UVs. So you can see this mesh originally had UVs on the top half and the bottom half. So obviously, if I'm merging these two together, I want these UVs to be maintained. So back to the subtool, in the merge option, we have a UV button. So that's exactly what this button is here for. It's telling that when you merge the two subtools together or merge the subtools at all, make sure you maintain your UVs. So not only weld, but maintain the UVs. So let's go ahead and click the merge down this time, okay? And this this is telling me that, okay, do you want to do this? I'm going to say, okay. It's merging it down. And now you can see, again, we're back to one body. It also has maintained the subdivision levels. So I still have five subdivision levels. I can sculpt across again, smooth across it. So we got the welding capability. And let's see about those UVs. So I'm going to drop it down to the lowest level. Go to UV map and click this morph, and you can see that the UVs are still there. So this is pretty important. This is kind of why I wanted to update this video. Now another important item, though, to discuss is the subdivisions. So I'm just going to click the third mesh that we have here, which is the copy I did. So again, we have the top half and the bottom half separate. They have UVs. Okay, they both also share the same subdivision level, right? So they both have five and five. Now, if I was to divide up 
the body, the top half. So this one now has six subdivision functions, okay? And the legs have five. So when you are going to merge one subtool with another subtool, not only is ZBrush looking at these two options here, it's looking at the subdivisions. So if I take this merging now, what's going to happen is I'm actually going to lose the sixth subdivision slider capability of this top half. So what ZBrush is going to do, it's going to take the top half and the bottom half and say, okay, I'm going to merge them, I'm going to weld them, I'm going to maintain the UV. The problem is the top half has more vertex points and obviously it means it's got more geometry. So what ZBrush is going to do is say, well, the bottom subtool only has five subdivision levels, so I have to take the lowest number of the two subtools that are merging together, and now that's going to be the set subdivision. So this is what's going to happen is we're going to merge this down. It's going to take the top and the bottom, and you're going to see that six become a five, right? So you can clearly see we lost a subdivision level. So what we've lost here is the slider capability of the subdivision level. So the top mesh still has the amount of geometry I had when I was sitting at level 6, and then the bottom legs st are still sitting at level 5. And I know this because if I zoom up in here, you can see there's a gap. And this gap is existing because if I walk down to the lowest level, you can see there is more geometry in the top half than the bottom half, and in particular, you can see there's points here now that can't weld with the bottom half. Right, so it's important that if I was going to weld this and the top half was at six subdivision levels, I'd want to just go and divide up the bottom legs to six so that I can make sure everything's welded together. Now, because I had a UV option on, we still have my UVs, but we've lost that welding capability. Now, you, you do have the capability in the modified topology to weld points. So if I start playing with this threshold slider right here and I turn it up a little bit and hit weld points, okay, this is saying, hey, the mesh contains subdivision levels or can't weld points. So it's telling you you could freeze your subdivision levels. So let's see if this solves it. So I can freeze my subdivision levels. So what that's doing is it's ripping levels two through five off, storing it, and just giving us only level one. So now, of course, if I do a weld points, there's going to be certain points that will weld. So like that, those ones in the front welded, all right? And there might be some other points here that can weld. So this threshold is just saying how far out for ZBrush to look at to weld, right? So you can see that point just welded right there. That's great, but we still had the problem now that, hey, that top half had more divisions than the bottom half. Because even if I unfreeze this again by clicking the freeze subdivision levels, I'll get back my five subdivision, but everything's not welded. So what's important to understand about this merging capability now within ZBrush is when you guys are going to merge one subtool with another one, make sure they both have the exact same subdivision level. And do you want the points to weld? And you want to maintain your UVs. So that's an update of, to my old, old merging subtools, but now with the kicker of we can weld and maintain UVs. Thank you for watching this video, and please continue to watch more videos on my channel. Thank you, and have a great day.